Hey guys, how's it going? It's Tom again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really gonna help me in bringing you a lot more videos. Today I'm really excited because I'm gonna do another video on Oculus Quest. Today's video is because a lot of people have been having issues with the controller. Basically, you are adding an OVR character controller, and then when you do that, the controller is not responsive, and you don't experience that in the game editor. You experience that when you push your game to the Oculus device. So I wanna show you some of the things that I had to do to fix that issue. I'm also going to walk you through a couple of things that we need to check to make sure that that doesn't happen. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you some of the things that I had to do in order for me to get the controller working. So the first thing that I want you to check is make sure that you have the OVR in none of the scripts that you have that I have in here, like the OVR player controller, the character controller, the OVR scene sample controller, and also the OVR debug info. Make sure that they are okay, they look fine, and it doesn't say missing a script. The reason why I want you to check that is because I know people were having issues with going from a previous version to a new version, so make sure that this is correct. The other thing that I want you to check is make sure that you have the Oculus folder in your project. If you don't have that, that means that you haven't basically bring in the assets that you need from the asset store. So I'm using the latest version available as of today. And But to download it, make sure that you go to the asset store. And also look at my previous video where I walk you through this example. But I'm using the latest one available. Looks like the current version is 1.39. And that's the one that I use, and that's the one that I had issues with. And then I was able to fix it with some of the steps that I'm going to show you. So once you import it and download it, you're going to have the folder right here. You also are going to have different prefabs that I show you how to create in previous videos. So make sure that you watch those videos. The other thing that is really important that a lot of people miss is you need to make sure that you go to the OVR camera rig. And then the option here where it says target devices, element zero, this needs to be set to the quest. If you don't have it set to the quest and you're using and you're trying to deploy this to an Oculus Quest, it's not gonna work. So make sure that this is set because this part is really important. So the next thing that I had issues with was I couldn't actually push to the device. So the other thing that I need to that I want you to make sure is that you have enable developer mode in the device and you do that by downloading the Oculus application from either the Android store or the App Store. So download it and there's an option in there that you can go through and enable development mode. Once you have done that, you can connect the, your device to the computer and then your computer should recognize it. So the next thing that I want you to check is go to Oculus. And by the way, this option is only available once you download all the components from the asset store that are gonna be incorporated with this asset. So once you have this option here, I want you to go to platform, edit settings, and make sure that you have an Oculus Rift ID and also an Oculus Go Quest or Gear VR ID populated. I also walk you through this, so I'm not gonna walk you through this right now, but make sure this is populated. We also wanna make sure the virtual reality support is enabled, the bundle version is populated, and then you have a bundle identifier that identifies the game or the prototype that you're working on. So once you have checked that, then we're good to go. So the next thing that I also had issues with is the unresponsive controller can be due to a couple of things that I just mentioned, but also it could be because of the manifest is corrupted. And when I'm talking about the manifest, I'm talking about this file. So in the project, let's go ahead and search for manifest. And if you notice, there's two manifests right now. One of them is called the Android manifest, and then the other one is called the Android manifest, the OVR submission. So if we double click it, this is basically, it's what's going to represent what your application is, what privileges your application has, what the icon is, and so on. So this is what Android needs in order for the application to get installed. So we're not gonna mess with this right here, and I actually didn't even touch it. So I normally recommend you use the tools to do things like this. So if you have issues with the controller, I really recommend that you do these steps. So you're gonna go to Oculus, then you're gonna go to Tools, and then there's options in here that will allow you to remove it. And in the comments, a lot of people ask me, Dilmer, how do I remove the Android manifest? I, do I delete it from the file system? And you could down, you can delete it from the file system. I just didn't do that when I, when I had to fix this. I went to Tools, Oculus Tools, and then Remove Android Manifest. So make sure you click on that. If you click on that, it's going to delete one of the files. Looks like the one that it deleted was the Android Manifest.xml. 
and then if you want to recreate it go back to oculus tools and then we're going to click on create a store compatible android manifest and then you're going to see that that comes back on the other thing that i recommend that you do is you close out of unity reopen unity disconnect your device reconnect your device and then just do a brand new bill i don't want you to do a replacement bill i want you to just delete the previous bill and then put basically create a brand new one even with a different name just to make sure that the new manifest is actually in the new bill so that's everything that i wanted to talk about guys i hope this fixes your issue if you still have issues after what i just show you let me know because i'm, I'm really curious to know if there are other issues that i need to cover but for the most part a lot of people that had this issue i gave them these steps and they were able to fix it so thank you very much guys all right guys thank you much for watching this video i really appreciate your time and if you have any questions about what i just mentioned or what i just showed you please let me know in the comments also be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great tutorials and resources for game developers also find me in patreon.com where i'm posting information about what i'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code thank you very much guys